Dragon Ball Super Chapter 96 Simon on the scene. What's up everyone? Hope everyone's doing okay. Welcome back to the channel where we're going to go ahead and discuss the latest manga chapter of Dragon Ball Super and specifically the superhero retelling. So it's no surprise that I'm not too much of a fan of the manga. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just there's nothing really new that we're getting and it doesn't change that much here once again. So what we're going to do is though, we're going to go through the chapter, I'll kind of read a little bit, I'll give my thoughts as we go, and then I would definitely love for all of you to give your thoughts in the comments section of the manga chapters presented thus far, and if you do think there's going to be any kind of twist coming by the end of this saga within the manga. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So we have Trunks here with Bulma, as you can see, and now this extra scenes that you see with Trunks or over here when Goten comes down it is kind of nice to read I, I do enjoy just like the kickback it's not really slice of life but it's just more of them leading up to how they got to the battlefield I like that idea but again this is something that really does nothing for the story right um, and actually it kind of even hurts it if so if you go to the next manga panel you could see they're trying to study Piccolo's key and where he's at which I saw Herms did a post about this and they can't really tell which direction it's coming from, and they're getting him confused with Dende. Now, it's said that Dende has God Key. Now the question's becoming, does Piccolo have God Key? See, and that's the problem, because we already have enough questions with Dragon Ball Super. We don't need another one, you know? So, does Piccolo have God Key? Doesn't he have God Key? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out. Knowing Dragon Ball Super, we probably won't. But based on this manga chapter, we could tell that there's something different about Piccolo's key because they cannot sense it. Now moving on, we pick up where we left off. You have Orange Piccolo making his debut in the manga. And he just, you know, he's a tank, right? And we see him doing the big mega punch. Boom, knocking Gamma 2 straight down. And while it is cool, it's drawn very good. The art is amazing, yes, but it doesn't do it for me like the movie did you know i just these retellings again i said this in the last manga chapter review that i did i just i don't know what the point of it is it would be different if they were leading to something big right like if that previous page would have explained that piccolo now has god key or if they were leading to a twist with cell max or hopefully they give an explanation to gohan beast's form see then the retelling in my eyes would be justified but the way that it's going it's really not. There's no real difference here, as you can see. Yeah, maybe it's just drawn a little bit different, like in terms of the choreography, and maybe some of the dialogue is a little bit different, you know? But it's nothing that stands out that I'm like, oh, this is awesome, they should have done this in the movie. No, not at all. So with that being said, now we're gonna have Cell Max making his debut. But before that, we do get the scene of Trunks, 18, Kurin, everybody uh, coming onto the battlefield. Nice little cool reunion. Again, nothing crazy from the movie itself. Not that I can remember, at least. I know there's kind of like a running thing right now with Gohan and his glasses and that. He's horrible at seeing without his glasses, but when he transforms, his eyesight improves. Which I don't think they did actually cover in the movie, which I actually kind of like. See, that's adding more information to something that somebody might have been wondering about. That's awesome. And then, of course, we also see them acknowledging Trunks and Goten being all grown up i'm pretty sure they hinted at this in the movie it's just it's been a while since i've seen it but i'm pretty sure that's just something that's reused from the movie no other additional explanation is there nor is it really needed it doesn't matter it's kind of funny though when you think about it because gohan as a kid he actually did kind of age and change from the time we first seen him at the beginning of z all the way to the end of the cell saga but whatever what do i know i'm just a dragon ball reader <laughs> but so then they cover uh, Orange Piccolo's transformation, and he's like, you know, I must have had an amazing awakening or something like that. They kind of set him up to give him a name like Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan, like Super Namekian. I thought that would have been cool, but they went with Orange Piccolo, or Toriyama did rather, I should say, which is fine. You know, it's, I mean, Dragon Ball Supers became the color swap palette uh, show with all these different transformations. Everybody looks the same as they did in Z, it's just a different color swapped onto them. It's uh, it's hilarious, but whatever. Super Saiyan 4 for the win, right? Even though I do like Dragon Ball Super more. Well, that's a video for another day. But anyways, here we go. So now we have Cell going ahead 
and he looks badass in this picture. I'm not even going to lie. In this drawing right here, he does look dope. I know a lot of people have been hyping it up. I saw on Twitter. But, I mean, just personally speaking, it does look fire. But, again, the movie looked fire. You know, like, this is... I might even actually use this piece for the thumbnail. But it's not doing anything for the story. I'm a big story guy, right? I, I mean, if you can't tell, I'm big in story. and big in depth. and bare, big on uh, character com complexities, things like that. And... I know it's Dragon Ball, right? It's a gag manga. It's not supposed to be super crazy and depth and serious. I get that. But, I mean, for the things that you mention and you add to the lore, like, come on. We need a little bit more explanation, you know? But, anyways, we got Cell Max. Giant version of Cell, as the Z-Warriors are saying, or the Super Warriors, I should say now. And he appears to go ahead and kill Hito, just like in the movie. But... That doesn't happen, but that shoots Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 to go to his rescue. And in this manga chapter, it seems that they're the only two fighting uh, Cell Max right now. And it's some good visuals, you know? I mean, it looks pretty sick, I can't lie. It's drawn very nice. But it's just not going to capture that movie animation, you know? I mean, and here's the thing. We all thought that movie was going to be poorly animated. It turned out a lot better than a lot of us predicted, you know? And it's just not matching up to it not not for me at least maybe i'm being a little bit too criticizing but hey it's my opinion now this next part i found interesting you have piccolo throwing gohan a sensu bean and he loses it just kind of like in the boo arc when goku throws him the patara earring and he loses that too i'm pretty sure this wasn't in the movie again forgive me if i'm remembering wrong it is i probably haven't seen it till maybe a month after it came out of the theater so it's been a couple years for me but i just thought it was pretty funny it was a nice throwback to the boo arc so but anyways it's irrelevant because goten and trunks tell piccolo and gohan to sit it out that they've already been fighting and they go ahead and they transform into Saiyaman x1 and Saiyaman x2 and gohan's kind of like in amazement just like what is going on and you know the image in the left hand corner is pretty dope of them doing their pose where it says on the scene it's drawn awesome that's kind of cool i actually wouldn't have minded this being added to the movie as it doesn't really hurt it nor help it it's just kind of cool but what i wish they would have added here and maybe they will in the next chapter is more dialogue from gohan about it because it's basically a ripoff of his great saiyan man you know so I just, I don't know, it would have been nice to kind of just see a little bit more dialogue from Gohan specifically. But finally, we have Goten and Trunks going to the battlefield, and that's where the manga chapter ends. So just to recap, like I said, nothing really crazy new here. You have the Simon X1, Simon X2, of course. You have the Sensu Bean. You have Orange Piccolo, name him himself. But a lot of it's just the same stuff again from the movie. I personally can't wait till we get past this arc. However, I do really hope that they just give us a little bit more details and insight to Gohan Beast's transformation. I just, I really do hope so, but I doubt we're going to get it. So I just want to move past this, and hopefully we get past the end of Z with the next manga chapter, and we could either start a Sadala arc, a Black Frieza arc, or something even brand new. Even if they want it to go back to where Goku is flying off with Kid Oob and they start their training, and that's where we start off the new era i'd be 100 percent down with that and then we can lead the black freeze and other things but it's a hundred percent time to move past the end of z other than that let me know what you guys thought of this manga chapter hit that like button it does help this video get spread out and my other content to get spread out and if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe because i got a lot more content coming out specifically some psychological analysis that i'm working on so other than that enjoy your day and as always Remember, never give up. Peace.